Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, I am with you, I'm excited. I have so many amazing things to show you guys. But first, I want to know how are you guys doing? I hope you guys have had a great couple of days since I saw you last in Wednesday's Happy Dollar Tree Haul. I also want to let you know that last night, which is actually tonight, Friday night, I posted an announcement for the 500 subscriber give giveaway and I also opened two amazing friend mails from two great girls my girl Janie and Rosie and I am absolutely in love with my stuff that they sent me so I did a video about the announcement for the giveaway showed you all the goods how to enter to win and then I opened my friend mails with you guys and just chatted a little bit and Rosie, Rosie Nobrega, she has a channel here on YouTube. She is a doll face. I love her. She's adorable. Um, and she does Dollar Tree hauls. She's just awesome. She does a bunch of different kind of hauls and she is so cute. So please go check out my uh, announcement for my giveaway that I posted on Friday night, which is last night. And then watch my friend mail opening because she sent me these earrings and I am stinking in love with these earrings right here. So I'm excited. We're starting this off right. And now I'm going to do this Dollar Tree haul with you guys. And I have some really awesome stuff. I am so excited to show you that I found the flower cosmetic bag that I have been searching so diligently for. Before I show it to you in deep detail, I do want to show you the price of it outside of the Dollar Tree that I looked up for you guys. So this case right here goes for $11.50. Where is that price? Ah, right there. Um, $11.50 at Walmart. So there is the price right there outside of the Dollar Tree. I went this morning before work and I lost it. I was so excited. So this is the flower cosmetic bag from the Drew Barrymore line. Look at how beautiful this bag is right here. And it is such a, just a cute case. Put whatever you want in there. Who really cares what you put in there? Because it's so pretty and it's just so feminine and nice and I love it so much. So I picked this up. I picked up a couple of them. I got some Christmas presents and I saved some for some giveaways and for some happy mail. So if we reach the the 600 subscribers, because last night was my 500 subscriber giveaway announcement. But if for some reason, at some point we reach 600 subscribers, the giveaway will have one of those in it. And they are so beautiful. Let me just show it to you again, because it's that pretty. Look at the detail, the flowers, the blue on there. So pretty. That color zipper is really such a gorgeous lining. The hardware on it is beautiful. The entire detail and depth of it, it's just cute. It is just so cute. So $11.50 down to $1 at the Dollar Tree. I will take it. I will love it and I will have it forever. And I'm so excited about it. One more announcement I didn't get to make the last time. This picture right here, my mom um, painted this picture in 1979. And, uh, I just, I want to start bringing out her pieces, trying to mingle them into my halls. I love my mother's artwork. I have her art portfolio and I'm just going to dabble in the looking through her stuff and kind of incorporating my favorite things in some of my backdrops. So here is her fall picture that she did in 1979 and I just love it so much. So I wanted to snag it and put it in the haul because we are in fall mode and I'm excited to be in, you know, the fall. And now I feel like I'm really sitting among the leaves back here. Now will you look at what I found at the Dollar Tree? Oh my goodness, they have these lanterns at the Dollar Tree and they are quite big. They have the candles inside that illuminate once you pull the tab and switch the little button on the bottom. It does say that 
um, it is a flickering light and there is an on and off switch and it also says that it uses one lithium battery for each lantern and it says that it is included but once the battery runs out and you need to replace it um, that is what you are going to have to replace it with so look at this little deer scene right there with the trees all around him and that illuminated is going to be absolutely absolutely beautiful I cannot believe that this was only a dollar it is so cute so there is that one and then here is the tree one the Christmas tree I just, I can't believe it. I cannot even believe that they have these. Look at the details of the Christmas tree with all the little cutouts of the strung lights and ornaments on it. I cannot wait to illuminate these and see what they look like all lit up. It's just going to be beautiful and I'm so excited. So then I found that but honestly, those blew my mind. But then I found these three friends right here. And how sweet are these little bears right here in their pajamas? How perfect are these for Christmas Eve to put under the tree and then have your babies and your little kids find them as their Christmas Eve gift and go to bed with them all tucked in with their little teddy bears with their jammies on. I absolutely love all three of them so much. I needed to have them all together as friends. I'm going to set them in my little decorations. I might sit some under the Christmas tree myself on top of presents and stuff and just kind of mingle them into the atmosphere. They're so soft and squishy and nice and I just love them. They're really coming out with some adorable plushies for Christmas this year and I've already found a few that have made me quite happy in my other hauls that I've showed you guys. Then I found this little gingerbread man right here with the little peppermint buttons. I love his little red cheeks. He's so soft. Those bears were extra soft as well. He's just velvety feeling and nice. He has no features on him that are not sewed in. So that's nice because there's nothing that you have to worry about coming off of him. He's very, um, he's just soft all over. So he was sitting in his own little bucket full of gingerbread men and I wanted to get him even though I've bought so many plushies already. I will definitely love him and have him to, um, to just put with all my stuffed animals. I do have quite a few stuffed animals that I do like to decorate with and kind of just, it just makes it warm and cozy to me with all the babies all around. And even though I have an 18 year old, it just kind of reminds me, you know, that, you know, it's just a warm and cozy time to have all of your little stuffed animals to cuddle with, you know, it's just fun. I love it. And so I wanted to get them. Then I picked up these and they had a couple of options for these that were like different colors to the candlesticks. But these are absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to grab at least three of them right there. And these are color changing LED taper candles. And it does take... Um, it says the battery is included. So there's the switch on the bottom. But how pretty are all three of these? And my mom, when I was growing up, always had a candle in every single window in our entire houses. Um, we had like two different houses when I was growing up and before I moved out. And every single window was illuminated with a candle that looked just like this. So these are the three that I picked up, but they had other candlesticks that had red um, snowflakes on it with like a gold base. This is more of like, just like, it's like a silvery gold actually. It's not actually just a silver, but these candles are so pretty and I can't wait to see them all lit up. Set all three of them together on the table and kind of just illuminate a nice space. Have a little Christmas dinner with my family. I love those. I love those. I love those. Then I picked up some stuff to embellish some crafts. 
I want to start really getting my crafting on for the holidays. I've been crafting a lot the last couple of days. Sorry, my leg has fallen asleep already because I've already been here for like a good half an hour from recording the um, giveaway announcement and the happy friend mail opening. Um, but now I'm still here doing the Dollar Tree haul. So my leg has pretty much had it at this point. But I wanted to um, start getting some more items in my stash for crafting for the holidays. And I've been doing a lot of Thanksgiving and fall crafting the last couple of days. But now I want to get my Christmas on pretty soon. So I grabbed these pom-pom trims right here in the green and in the red. And there is, let's see if it says three yards of that pom-pom trim right there and I think that they're really pretty and they're going to be really cute to kind of just like embellish my Christmas gnomes that I'm going to make and make like scarves out of that for around their neck and stuff to kind of dress them up and I got this bag of 32 pieces of gold bells right there and they're the smaller bells but they do have bags that have bigger bells um but I did pick these up because I can use these as buttons on the gnomes on the front of their little bodies that I'm going to create with the little scarf wrapped around their neck with that red and green pom-pom um, trim and so I wanted to pick up some bells too so that I can embellish some of my crafts with them so that's really good 32 pieces for a dollar I like that a lot now I don't want to keep looking away from the camera so I'm gonna try to pull some of this stuff to the front so that I can really just kind of stay with you. Um, so, oh my goodness, I found these kits right here and this is a felt finger puppet kit and there's five kits in here, which is unbelievable for Christmas crafting with the kids. And so this whole pack of felt right here makes all five of these options right there, a, a raccoon, um, I think that that is like a hedgehog or a porcupine, a penguin, a fox, and the angry bird, which I don't know where the angry bird came from, but I thought that that was kind of funny that the angry bird was thrown in there. <laughs> um, so the, all of the felt pieces are inside of this little packaging right here so that you can make all of those characters. And I think that that's really awesome for a dollar. And as you can see, they already have the felt uh, thing, you know, so that you can slide your finger inside of these and then you build those characters onto that. And then you use them as the finger puppets. Then this one is five pieces as well and it makes the whole entire scene from the nativity scene. Well, not the whole entire, but... Um, so that's from the nativity scene and this is the felt package right there those are the finger puppet little 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 pieces that you build those guys onto and then you can play around with them so i think that that is really really neat for a dollar a little finger puppet gift so cute for a stocking stuffer you know, for, for just having fun with your kids, have some fun, have some creativity time, some crafting time, some time spending, um, just imagining, imagining and playing. Then I picked up these ornaments and I flipped out when I found these ornaments. I was so excited. So I grabbed this one right here and all of these are two pieces. Look at that gnome right there and the candy cane. So there's one package of, of ornaments. Then this one, I, I near passed out. I love that gingerbread man so much. And that candy cane with the green and the holly, um, berries on it. That is such a cute set of a, of an ornament. Then the Santa and the penguin. So these are incredible, I think. For only a dollar for a two piece of ornaments, that's awesome. And then the elf, which I absolutely love the elf. I love his face. He is so, so cute. 
So I picked up all of those packages right there of ornaments and it was only a couple of bucks. And now I have all of those brand new ornaments for the tree. And I love them. I love them so, so much. Now I can't find the other wood cutouts, so maybe I'll save these for after. But I picked up these socks right here. I saw my friend Lene from Fashionable, Fashionably 50 something and beyond. And she hauled these. And so I was on the hunt for these because I think that that little gnome right there with the green hat and the green feet and the heart in the middle was just my little soulmate for Christmas. And I love the green to the stocking. Um, and I love the little snowflakes and all the mingle of the red, white, and green together. I just think it's so Christmassy and vibrant. It's a sock size five to nine. So I was super excited when I found those right there. Then I found this pack of boxes for gifting. And this is a three piece gift box set. It's from Christmas House is the brand. So it comes with this one right here with the dinosaurs all over it and little Christmas sweaters with Christmas presents on their backs. And so, so cute. Then the other side is flamingos and llamas and a unicorn all dressed up in Santa hats. And they're really, really, really great size boxes. Um, let me see. I really kind of didn't want to open this because then the boxes are going to get like all kind of tossed everywhere. And I don't want to misplace them, but sorry. I got to use my teeth for a minute, um, but I'll try to keep them contained with one another. I won't, I'll try to not pull it all the way apart, but I do want to show you guys the third option for a box in this set right here. So I'll just pull it down a little bit so that they stay together. But that is what the third box set looks like inside here. So that's a really pretty print as well. It's very, very Christmassy looking. I love all the Christmas bulbs. So I love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that box set. They did a good job with all of those different styles in there. They have one really mature looking one that I just showed you. And then the other ones are kind of like just fun and, um, you know, like good for a kid gift. Then I found this beautiful ornament right here of a church. And if you watched my haul or my last couple of hauls, um, you saw that I had hauled several ornaments that were house shapes and like a little, a little, like, um, like a little tiny Christmas hut type of shape. And I'm going to make a village with those ornaments and use them for decoration pieces instead of being ornaments on the tree. Then I found this one right here and I'm going to use this in that scene with the houses as one of the church pieces. So I think that that's beautiful. It has the little cone on there with the green and the berries. I just think it's really, really pretty. They had a couple of different options for um, the color to it. It's There was a little bit of a darker gold one. There was a brown one. And then here is this like lighter gold. So I think that that was really pretty. And I loved it super duper much. Then I am going to start making some fall shirts kind of like I did for Halloween with bleach dyeing and tie dyeing and with the wood cutouts that happened all over Halloween and now I'm going to start doing it for the following holidays that are coming up so I went and I grabbed these wooden cutouts right here and this one says love so you know I needed to have it because I'm all about love, good vibes, happiness, like let's be kind to one another and just share the wealth of our hearts with one another. So that word love is going to be displayed on my shirt. I'm probably going to puff paint around the lettering so that once it dries, I can pull up the stencil and the word love will be on my t-shirt. So I've been trying to get them prepped for my new crafting projects that I'm going to be doing with them. Then this one says heart and I love that. I love that so much. 
so this would cut out right there but also you can use these for signs paint them use them as plaques you know and do what you want to do with them I'm just actually going to use them for stencils like I did all the Halloween ones that I bought for my t-shirts to create so I picked those up then I picked up these right here and this one says peace on earth so all of these are going to continue on to my shirts so that is what this one says right here and I love it. I love the lettering. I love how they they formatted these. I think that they are just beautiful. This one says Merry and Bright. So that's that wood cut out. And then this one says Let It Snow. I love the snowflake for the O. So I think that that's really awesome. Then I got this one right here for my flower power t-shirt that I'm going to make just for fun and then I'm going to puff paint around this. I'm just going to keep placing this all over my shirt from front to back and I'm going to puff paint in all different colors all over a t-shirt to make flowers all over it and um, it's just going to be my flower power shirt. So I got that wood cut out right there and this is more of like a particle board type of piece so I picked that up and I loved it. Then I found, um, whoa, baby, look at what I found. I found the best looking um, tissue paper. And so I had to pick it up. It had the little woody, we call them woodies. Um, and I think that is what they are called, but the wagon with the wood on it and the Christmas tree. And I love it this reminds me of Clark Griswold and National Lampoon's Vacation and um that is one of my favorite holiday movies so they have that option a green and then the trees of the red and green against the white background and the red and in here there are 16 pieces of gift tissue so that's I think that's really really great so I had to pick that up because uh, you know, I mentioned to you guys about doing baskets, 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 but you know what? If you don't want to do a basket, if you don't want to cellophane it, you don't want to wrap it and put it all up in a basket, that's fine. The Dollar Tree has an unbelievable amount of bags, which I've mentioned in several of my videos just recently, of every size, every style, every holiday, birthday, event, what have you. Grab some really cute tissue paper, put the gifts inside of a cute gift bag, tissue paper it and let it be on its merry way to its recipient and I think that will be just as wonderful and nice um and I love it are we shocked that I love it because I love it then I found holy moly then I found these right here and I'm going to use these to make my own signs and it says DIY sign so this one has a snowflake cut out on the top and I'm probably just going to make a whole snow scene I might grab some um wall clings some more Christmas wall clings and mod podge some wall clings that are Christmas theme a snowflake theme um winter wonderland theme and create a whole entire little sign right there and I love that vibrant blue I think it's so pretty then I picked up the green one that perfect Christmas green right here is so perfect with the little Christmas tree cut out inside of it and so I'm gonna do it for this one as well and probably do all green and red scenery all over it with some white and make it really traditional looking and make it a cute Christmas sign so I picked that up and then I'm debating on whether to show you guys these signs because I really wanted to put them in my thumbnail because they were so fantastic. These signs were like, they, they, they really, they got me. I was so excited by them because they're so different and I really wanted to put them in the thumbnail. So I might hold the signs that I'm talking about until Monday's haul to show you guys the signs that I picked up because I really want them to be like, um, 
like at the forefront of the video because they're that good. And I have enough here to show you guys a whole nother haul on Monday. I got a lot of amazing things. So maybe we'll wait for those signs for Monday. Um, so now this, oh my goodness, the material is starting to come out for the Christmas line and this couldn't be any prettier if it tried. I love the black background with the candy canes all over it. I am going to open it because I need to see it myself in its full effect and glory here. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. I could use this for a multitude of things. As you know, if you've been with me for a while, I like to use my uh, fabrics that I find at the Dollar Tree to make Mickey ears for Disney. Um, but I could use this for whatever I want. I could wrap it up in my hair. I could make scrunchies out of it. I could use it as a table, um, little placemat. I could use it to make pillows. I mean, I could use it for a whole bunch of stuff. So that is a beautiful pattern on there. So I picked that one up. Then I picked up this red, green, and white one, this striped one, and I thought it was just really pretty and classic looking for Christmas. Then I grabbed this one right here, and I'm just, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna open it up. I'm just gonna open it for you, because I need to see it too. Oh, girl, I just hurt my nail. I just hurt my nail. I just hurt my Dollar Tree nail. This is not good. <laughs> um, oh, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So there are all the little gnomes all over it and it looks like it's snowing outside with all of those different style trees and the material is so cute. I, I've, I've said it so many times before, but just in case you're new and just tuning in, the fabric in these Crafters Square packages are a 20 inch by 21 inch piece of fabric. So that is what they all come in when you find these pieces of material at the Dollar Tree. So there's that one. Then here is another one. I got four of them. So this is the last one. Oh my goodness. I think this one might be my actual favorite. So this one has a little reindeer faces on it. Snowmen, those really cute trees. They kind of just look like kids' drawings. And I think that that is precious. It's very whimsical looking to me. I love it so much. So that's that piece of material. They really did come out with some cute, cute pieces of material that I'm super excited about. Now, I picked up my box of Christmas cards for this year. I looked through all the options that they have and this one was my favorite. So this is 12 Christmas cards with white envelopes and it says season's greetings on it. But will you look at that living room and how warm and cozy it looks? It actually reminds me of um, a Toy Story um, like living room of Ralphie. You know, Ralphie, the, the Christmas story. Richie, why am I forgetting the name of that? You know, Ralphie, I'll shoot your eye out. Um, You know, Red Rider BB gun, you know what I'm talking about. I might be getting titles mixed up. I don't know why, because I watch that actually on the 24-hour loop on Christmas every year my whole life, and also other times during the holidays. Um, but it reminds me of their living room with the Christmas tree all decorated, the little warm fireplace with the Christmas stocking hanging, all the presents all perfectly situated. And then on the inside of the card, this is what it says, warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday. So that is the package of cards that I got for this year for myself. And I love it. I love it so much. Now, also, for those signs that I showed you with the green and the Christmas cutout, you know, the long signs that I just showed you, and the blue long one with the snowflake cutout, I did pick up some of the magazines at the Dollar Tree because the magazines are great for a dollar. And I am going to flip through these 
let my mother th flip through them and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut out holiday pictures and holiday scenes and holiday words and I'm going to do a collage on one of those boards right there and mod podge it to that board. So I will show you how that comes out once that project starts and gets underway but I used to love to do collages with magazine clippings and I haven't done it in a while but I think that those boards could definitely be perfect for it so on one of them that is what I'm going to do so this is a magazine that they offer at the Dollar Tree easy holiday recipes 55 dis dishes your family will love and um, it does come with some pretty amazing ideas inside of it but in some of the pages it does just have like holiday looking um pictures like I could cut out that mug right there and mod podge it as part of the scenery so there is that one and then this is holiday sweets and treats so I picked up this one right there as well and I love it so, ooh, so some of these ideas in here are great. So it's just like picking up like a holiday cookbook, get some cool ideas from it and just go to town and have some fun and create and have a warm, cozy day. So that's it. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul with me. If you did and you want to stick around, if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, comment down below and hit the bell notification so that you are informed of every single time that I put up a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays and Wednesdays. I also have an Instagram. It is Crazy Days of Callan. You can go over there and follow me. I like to share things with you all of the time, especially things that I find at the Dollar Tree that I want to show you guys that I may not haul for you guys here. Um, and I'll post pictures. Also, I tell you, you know, things that I'm doing and places that I'm going. And so if you want to follow me over on that platform, it just gives us a different place to connect. And I also have a vlog channel that I just started recently to show you all of the things that I like to do outside of Dollar Tree hauling and just share my life with you guys. So that one is called Crazy Callan Vlogs and the crazy is with a K just like here on Crazy Days of Callan. So that's it. I love you guys stupendously much. Thank you guys for being here with me. I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm going out with a friend. I haven't been out in a long time with a girlfriend. It has been a long year and a half. And I'm going to go out, out. And we're going to just have a little girl time and a little chit chat time. And I'm excited. So I'm going to go get ready for that. And I will see you guys on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. Make sure that you go back and check out Friday night's video, last night's video, which is the announcement for the 500 subscriber giveaway and the happy and friend mail opening from my two girls here on YouTube. So that is it. Love you guys so, so, so incredibly much. And I will see you Monday. Bye everyone. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy, wonderful, fantastic, amazing, and please always be kind to the to one another always 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 a couple of days until i see you then all right love you guys bye